Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving an interesting trigonometric equation. Now, this problem is pretty common, you could probably search and find some solutions online, and if you don't like the variables alpha and beta, you can replace them with x and y and so on and so forth. So, I find this equation interesting because we're using uh, good, uh, some good identities to solve this problem, so that's kind of like a good review of trigonometry in my opinion. Anyway, so I have the, the sum of the sine of the sum on the left hand side and I have the sum of the sines on the right hand side. So obviously this is not always true. The sine of the sum of two angles is, does not always equal the, the sum of their sines. But this is a, spe a special situation and we're going to be looking for alpha and beta that satisfy this. Now we can solve this equation in the general sense and then look for specific, uh, I'm going to look for specific solutions between 0 and 2 pi, but I'm also going to be writing the general solution so you can see what that looks like. Okay, great, let's get started. So on the left hand side, I'm going to be using the double angle formula for sine of 2x. So here's what the formula looks like. Sine of 2x can be written as 2 sine x, cosine x, so that's what I'm going to use. And on the right hand side, I'm going to use what's called sum to product formula. And this is how they work. If you have sine x plus sine y, we can write it as 2 sine x plus y over 2 multiplied by cosine of x minus y over 2. So these are the tools that we're going to use, kind of like a Michael Penn style. Anyways, um, and this is uh, basically what we're going to use. Okay, great. So now, on the left hand side, let's go ahead and uh, write, so the question is alpha plus beta is 2 times which angle? And the answer is half of alpha plus beta. So we can write sine alpha plus beta as, from here, we can write it as 2 sine alpha plus beta divided by 2 multiplied by cosine of the same angle. These two angles obviously have to be the same, but on the right hand side, uh, things are a little different. Uh, we're going to write it uh, a little differently. So we have the sum of alpha and beta divided by 2, so kind of like the average. Alpha, oops, I wrote the beta first. Okay, great. That's not the right one. Alpha plus beta over 2, and the cosine is just going to be the half of their difference. Okay, now one of the biggest mistakes you can do is cross out the sine alpha plus beta over 2. Don't do that. Put everything on the same side and factor. So you can take out sine alpha plus beta over 2 and then inside you're going to have the difference of two cosines obviously there's a formula for that but i'm not going to use it so here's what i have the product is zero therefore uh, the, each factor can be set equal to zero so let's go ahead and look at the first one if sine alpha plus beta over 2 is equal to zero this implies that alpha plus beta over 2 can be written as n pi, where n is an integer. Okay, for our purposes, n, k, whatever we use, those variables are all going to be integers. Obviously, I want to find particular solutions here, uh, but this is the general solution. From here, you can safely say that alpha plus beta is 2 n pi. In other words, alpha plus beta has to be multiples of 2 pi, integer multiples of 2 pi. But if n is equal to 0, then we get alpha plus beta equals 0, which means beta is basically the opposite of alpha, or you can write it as negative alpha. If n is equal to 1, that's the solution I'm looking for, then alpha plus beta is equal to 2 pi. And since our solutions need to be less than 2 pi, uh, I want to write it this way. Uh, alpha is going to be, you know, uh, so I can do the following. Maybe isolate the beta and write it as 2 pi minus alpha, and alpha is just going to be alpha. So our solutions are going to be like this, alpha comma 2 pi minus alpha. That's going to be the first set of solutions that I'm getting from here, okay? So as long as alpha is uh, between 0 and 2 pi, of course beta is going to be the same way. Uh, we're looking for two angles. So let's say 10 degrees and 350 degrees, or pi over 4 radians and 7 pi over 4 radians, they're also going to satisfy this equation. Obviously, from symmetry, alpha and beta can be switched around. So that's my first branch. And the second branch basically involves using the second factor. So if 
I set that difference equal to zero. This implies that the cosines are equal. And that implies now when you cosine x equals cosine y, you can say x equals y or x equals negative y because cosine is an even function, right? So cosine of negative y is cosine of y. So if x equals, if cosine x equals cosine y, then either x equals y or x equals negative y. Obviously, we're going to be adding multiples of 2 pi, so on and so forth, but I'm looking for a particular solution, so I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to have to use that part. But anyways, I'll do it, but at the end, we're going to write the particular solutions. So I can safely say that one of the angles is equal to the other one plus 2k pi. Let's use a different variable. The variable doesn't matter because I'm going to replace k with something to get a solution between 0 and 2 pi on the half close interval. So now I've noticed that alpha over uh, 2 is going to cancel out. Half of beta will be added. And then that's going to give us beta directly. And beta is going to be 2k pi. Notice that my solutions have to be less than 2 pi. So I can't use k equals 1. Uh, the, the largest k value I can use is 0. So if k is equal to 0 from here, beta becomes 0. So beta is 0, but alpha is what? Alpha is alpha. So... We can write our solutions as an ordered pair as alpha comma zero. And obviously, since this is symmetrical, alpha and beta are completely, you know, switchable or you can just switch them around, whatever. Uh, we can do that. But let's just go ahead and follow. So this was my like kind of first branch of the second branch. And this is the second of the second. So if um, cosine alpha plus beta, I shouldn't actually, I don't need to write it. So... I can also say that, okay, alpha plus beta over 2 is equal to the opposite of alpha minus beta over 2, which is beta minus alpha over 2 plus 2k pi. But notice that from here, beta over 2 is going to cancel out. We're going to get alpha equals 2k pi. And if k is equal to 0, alpha will be 0 and beta will be beta. And that is going to give me the ordered pair 0. Oopsies. I wasn't supposed to write 0 for both. Okay. So if you replace k with 0, alpha is going to be 0 and beta is just going to stay as beta. So my solution uh, as an ordered pair is going to be written as 0 comma beta. So alpha can be 0. Well, alpha has to be 0. Beta can be anything. For, so for example, if alpha is 0 radians, then beta, beta can be uh, pi over uh, 11 radians. Any, any angle will work and I'll show you why at the end. Okay, great. So notice that these two uh, solutions are symmetrical because alpha and beta can be switched around. And this solution, the first one that we found, is basically, again, uh, you can switch them around as well. But this covers both cases. So our solutions are basically alpha and 2 pi minus alpha. Then another solution would be alpha comma 0 or 0 comma Beta. These are basically all the solutions that you can get. Now let's go ahead and discuss quickly why uh, all of this works because, well, acting up again. All right, sine alpha plus beta is equal to sine alpha plus sine beta. Now notice what happens if alpha and beta are opposite angles. Since sine is an uh, odd function, uh, sine of negative beta is going to be uh, negative sine of beta. So if beta is negative alpha, then you're going to get sine 0 equals sine 0, right? They're going to cancel out. If one of them is 0, say beta is 0, then you're going to get sine alpha equals sine alpha plus sine 0, which is 0, so that's going to be true again. So all the cases work here, and those are all the solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.